I now have a computer set up. And this is, uh, I have the TF Editor running. And the TF Editor is it works on uh, PCs or Macs, but it's a great tool for operating the TF uh, series consoles. You can create an input list and apply it before you ever even show up. It also has full control of the console, uh, so much so that I can I can grab a fader and adjust it just like that. Um, it's also a good tool for uh, updating. It will not update firmware, but as far as presets, all you do is you download the presets and then you drag them right here onto Yamaha TF and it will drop them into the catalog on here. But uh, as far as doing the knickknack stuff, like setting up colors and instruments and things like that, it does seem to be quite a bit easier on the TF editor than on the TF console. But it's basically the same thing. There. Now it looks the same. <laughs> One thing I did notice when you swap from um, groups and custom and all that, it doesn't change it here but it still has control over it. For instance, I'm in custom right now. I can still throw these faders. And then you have your aux outputs and they're there. You still have functionality with um, EQs and everything. That's all the same. Home button's the same. You can hit it and get that. You can hit it and get that. It's great. Uh, one thing I did notice about the TF editor though is it has limits as to how much it can expand. As you, as you can see, it's uh, not the full height of my screen and that's, that's as big as it gets. Uh, it can get longer. For instance, right here, I have to, whoop, I have to grab the bottom where the icon is and I can move it back and forth and see the rest of the channels. Um, I can, on my bigger screen, I, I can I can blow it up where I can see all the channels at once. Um, but anyway, yeah, as you make changes on there, it, makes, it transfers the changes here. And uh, all you really have to do is uh, run an ethernet from your computer to the back of your console. And then uh, you do have to join it, and you have to set it for Ethernet. It expects Wi-Fi. Uh, you can plug a Wi-Fi router into the Ethernet on the back of here and uh, achieve the same thing. But uh, as far as when the TF Editor would apply to our needs is uh, maybe the week prior to Bandcamp, when you have a pretty good idea about what you're going to have, you can get a list from the director and uh, input it and go ahead and have presets on some of the things and, and you can be ready. Um, you can also, and I've already done this, I just updated the firmware on the console, which is simply done by inserting a thumb drive with the firmware on the root menu, power cycle, run the update, power cycle again. Then you have to power cycle again while holding the home button and initialize, which wipes the board. I then went into uh, TF Editor and opened my saved uh, program, and here it all is. Everything's still the same. I have all three of my scenes, my backup scenes. Everything's still, still good to go. Um, so yeah, that's a handy way to use that.